This is Nine News Now. Prostate cancer, it's one of the leading cancers to strike American men and claims almost 30,000 lives a year. Yet today, a major doctor's group says most guys don't need annual PSA tests to screen for this disease. We have local reaction on what this means to you. The American Urological Association put out new guidelines today and backed off its call for annual screenings after age 50. PSA or prostate specific antigen in the blood can mean prostate cancer is growing, but many experts say the annual screenings have led to unnecessary biopsies and treatments and shown little proof of saving lives. Dr. Wayne Frederick is the director of the Cancer Center at Howard University Hospital. He says for men at high risk of the disease, a yearly PSA can be a lifesaver. For African-American men who are at higher risk for getting prostate cancer and for men with a strong family history of prostate cancer, I think those are two populations that should still get um, screenings. The urology group's new advice is that men should be offered a baseline test at age 40 and then follow-up testing should be done based on each man's individual situation. Dr. Frederick thinks the baseline at age 40 is a great idea, but again advocates regular screening because he says a man's body can change dramatically from age 40 to 60. It is possible to have a low PSA at age 40 and then to have a high one at age 50 or even five years later as your prostate cancer develops. Dr. Frederick's biggest worry is that this kind of sweeping guideline change could impact other screenings. My concern is, is that you have at-risk populations which may not get screenings for other things such as mammograms, etc., where we cannot demonstrate a strong association with the fact that they decrease mortality. A valid concern there. Dr. Frederick says if you are a guy over 40, talk to your doctor about prostate screening options that are best for you. For more information, go to our website, WUSA9.com. Click on Living Well.